With FIFA 22 just around the corner, I thought it was about time we brought back Irate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. We've gained a lot of subs since the last episode, so I thought I'd fill you in. It's a weekly series where every week we check out your guys' teams and give you recommendations, whether it be on the video or in the comments down below. And I always tweet out when we're looking for teams, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm verified now, so you know it's me. Given that the full game is not technically out yet we're just gonna go through teams that you've built on foothead footbin and footwiz using the ratings that have been released so far so we've kind of got limited uh access to the players but we can kind of go through and see what people are thinking of building uh up until the full release of the game i think it'll be interesting to have a look and uh, i think it's going to build some hype for the full game as well i'm really excited for when FIFA 22 comes out i think we'll see people playing it on monday i think that's when certain creators and game changers get access to the game and then we get access obviously on wednesday uh so i'm excited for that and uh yeah uh, this game is going to be sick all right team number one that we're looking at um pretty interesting I, obviously we don't know how these teams playing game when the full game comes out and we're doing our teams every week we'll see how teams play in game and whatnot uh but it looks very interesting some of the players that we've seen like Correa, i think will be a very very nice card he's got a, a nice card for i'd say a cam or a center forward uh vinicius jr has a very nice card as well it's very similar to last year's but for some reason like having 70 shooting now and 71 passing just makes me think this card is infinitely better than last year's card uh rafa looks really solid as a right mid you've got a nice little non-rare here in wilson Man manafa Men Menefa, uh and Geza Fernandez. You got a bit of a lack in, in defensive uh midfielders here. I mean you you haven't really got any DMs. You've got two box to boxes with very low defending stats. So I think you might struggle there in the midfield. Um but you know with Mateus Cunha it's it's a nice team. Uh you know defense wise I think people are gonna have uh quite diverse defenses in FIFA twenty two. It looks like EA are boosting you know pace of centre backs to try and avoid full backs to centre back. It also apparently um in the game Fullbacks at centre back get a really bad defensive downgrade in their like stats, so they they're not as usable at centre back and whatnot. I'm excited for that. I'm all for that. If it means that people are using different players every week, I'm I'm happy with that. I stopped the uh, the series last year because people were literally just using the same players. It was always Varane, Mendy, uh, at left back and left centre back. It was always you know Neymar and Mbappe up top. And if we're seeing you know some diversity, I'm all for it. I am all for it. Um, or the next team does say Varane at centre back, so. Uh, Diversity, what is that again? This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped are the market leading in male grooming products. They hooked me up with the Performance Package 4.0. And the main thing that I want to highlight in the Performance Package 4.0 is the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer. This thing is awesome. It's Manscaped fourth generation electric trimmer. It's waterproof and it's got their advanced skin safe technology, which avoids cuts on your sensitive areas. And two products that I never knew I needed included in the Performance Package 4.0 is the Crop Reserver Anti-Chafing Deodorant and the Crop Reviver refreshing toner honestly you won't realize you need these until you get them that's not it manscape has you covered head to toe with their brand new weed whacker nose trimmer it's a wireless nose trimmer with the exact same skin safe technology as the lawnmower 4.0 as all manscape products come with a promise from manscape that they keep your sensitive areas as nick free as possible now for a limited time only if you get the performance package 4.0 you actually get a free pair of anti-chafing boxes and also a snazzy manscaped travel bag for all of your brand new products go to manscaped.com today use code haber to get 20 percent off at checkout plus free international shipping plus the two free gifts in the performance package 4.0 link in the description down below thank you to manscape for sponsoring this video all right so this is clearly a pay to win starter team starter team it's not a starter team but i mean anything can be a starter team because it's your first team i guess um but this is from one of my friends who's a trader um and he thinks he can build this team first weekend league just from trading which if you somehow manage to do that then my hat goes off to you because this team's gonna be like but this is like a 15, 20 million coin team at least, surely. Like, Mbappe, that Mbappe card looks so ridiculous. I can see this card being, like, easily upwards of two, two and a half million coins. Where Ronaldo's card has been in previous years. Neymar will be 1.5 mil, roughly, where he is every year at the minute. It was like that last year as well. Ronaldo would be, like, 
roughly 1.5 10 million coins because he's Premier League now and you know he's had a minus one but it's still Cristiano Ronaldo right and he's always around 1.5 2 million coins every year uh then you've got Hullet whose mid card is about 8 million coins every year you've got Van Dijk he's going to be super juiced he wants Varane at left centre back who's going to be very expensive as well because he's going to have a wants to watch this team is going to be so expensive so expensive. I mean, how expensive do you think Joe Cole's going to be? That card's going to be very nice as well. Four-star, four-star. He's going to be a nice right winger in the Premier League. This team will be nuts. If you can build this team from trading, my hat goes off to you if you get this by first weekend league. I'm very excited for this Cantelo card. Looks very, very nice. I think it'll be one of the best right backs in the Premier League to start off with. Um, it, but it does seem like there's a distinct uh, lacking in sort of... Well, the correlation seems that... For attackers, if they're not super high rated, for example, let's look at um, Rafa. Anything over 90 pace and we see a distinct uh, uh, shooting decrease or a deficiency or, or uh, whatever word we're looking for. My vocabulary is terrible. Um, but when we see a player with high pace, usually they don't have great shooting unless it's obviously like higher rated players like Neymar and Mbappe, for example. Um, and if they have decent defending, for example, 80 defending on Cancelo, we see like only 85 pace, whereas Mendy 92 pace at 78 defending. Do you see the correlation? So it does seem like EA are trying to kind of fiddle with the meta a little bit this year um, and try and avoid giving players high pace and then high in another stat that's relevant, like shooting or defending. Um, which, I mean, I'm all for, to be honest. Like, if it means that the high-rated cards, like the Van Dykes, for example, at centre-back, are really, really good, and then you're like 83 wan Sackers at centre-back are really bad like they should be at centre-back, I'm all for that. That, to me, sounds like a great idea. I was so, so sick of seeing the same full-backs at centre-back every single game last year. So if we have diversity like that, that's sick. And hey, if it means players like Baresi and Nesta in that are usable later on in the year as well, hallelujah, it's about time. Probably won't be, but you never know. Um, Fabrizio Romarino's team. Interesting. Um, now, I remember him saying, so he's holding off for the likes of, I believe, Anderson Taliska, Alex Teixeira, and maybe Oscar or someone like that for the for the front three. I know he's saying that they've moved to the Saudi league, apparently, uh, which is interesting. So I see a correlation in in teams people want to build. I'm seeing a, a correlation in Pepe and this Verissimo guy at centre-back. I'm seeing a correlation in Wilson and Rafa, Grimaldo, Everton. Um, I think the Liga Nos is that league that everyone thinks they want to build. When the full game comes out, I'm not expecting anyone using the Liga Nos, but... For now, it seems like a very, very attractive league to go into because you've got Pepe, who's got a good pace, and verissimo has got a good pace. You've got a nice left back and right back to choose from as well. And then you've got good winger options as well. Uh, we've got a six starter team here. That's literally it's called six starter team. Um, I mean, this team looks good. I would say straight away with this team, um, I think what you could do is... You could go with a different right back, other than Reese James, because his pace is a little bit low. I think he could probably get someone with a bit more pace at right back. Um, maybe get Jose Sa in goal, the new Wolves keeper. I don't know what rating he's going to be. If he's super low rated, his, his stats are terrible, then obviously don't go for him. But my thought process is if you go Jose Sa at, at, at goal, and then at left centre-back, you can go with Pepe, who's you know a little bit better than Batongan. Uh, I think that would be a, a nice little defensive uh, back line, a back five, I guess. Uh, Saul looks like a half-decent kind of holding midfielder. I was very surprised at the big downgrade, but... Fair enough. I'm, I'm, imagine imagine United signed Raul on loan instead of Chelsea and he got that big downgrade. I'd be in tears. Uh, <laughs> um, I like that left side. Pizzi looks like a really good box-to-box. -box. Everton obviously looks really nice. I like the DePaul and Correa uh, sort of hyperlink. That's also really nice. And Asensio's got half a card who looks decent half card there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks, like, it looks like, again, like a solid team. Um, I'm thinking you're playing like a three, like a narrow three-centre mid formation. Then maybe Asensio, Cam and Everton up top with Correa. Looks like a solid starter team, to be honest, bro. Um, what is that ad? Uh, next team we've got here. I, to be honest with you, like, unless you have some kind of idea to play this really cool passing style, I think you're going to really struggle because your pace up top, very much lacking. Your pace in the midfield, very much lacking. Your pace at fullback, very much lacking. Um, I would say maybe you've gone with this team due to restrictions of the ratings we've... we've Seen slash not seen. Um, first of all, if you go with a 4-3-3-3, I believe you get full chem on Rudiger um, and Bakayoko. Maybe you lose out on chem on, on Vidal, but I think Barella gets full chem as well. Oh, no, wait. Rudiger won't get full chem. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, 
My point is, I think this team sucks. I think this team absolutely stinks. I would change this team massively. I think it stinks. It's awful. I like, you can do better than that. I mean, pace isn't everything, but pace is also pretty important in my opinion. No matter what FIFA game we get, pace will be important. Uh, I like this start team though. Obviously very familiar back five. Um, well, I say that and the left mid and right mid very familiar. He's gone with Pizzi in the midfield instead of that uh, non-ran. And then he's gone with a Bundesliga sort of front three. Um, I mean, obviously this team's going to be a narrow with Rafa, Everton and Marlin up top. The only thing I would say is from what we played of the beta, and it wasn't much, but from what we played of it, it seemed like goalkeepers were very good and you needed high finishing players in order to score uh, against certain goalkeepers. Now, Rafa or Everton up top and then one of them at Cam, if you get one-on-one, -on -one, it's very likely you don't score there. I would say... You may struggle to to convert chances with a front three with no one over 80 shooting. You might want to see if you can go with someone a little bit better shooting wise. I'm not entirely sure if there is anyone available that you can go with. Uh, but whether that means maybe going with a different right or left mid and then going with a different center mid. That's actually a striker converted down. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it's it, it's going to be this year a case of high shooting will be rewarded and i hope that is the case because i would like for for the bigger strike the harry canes the Lewandowski's, and whatnot to actually be usable and not just be pace merchant like go with the fastest player in no matter what because if if you got the fastest player and you're punished because your player can't convert one-on-ones as much like that seems like a really really good um pro and con of having a fast player like obviously your player gets past defenders but can he put the ball in the back of the net which he did on my against man united the guy can't score um so yeah that's my thought process uh, that'd be pretty cool and then obviously you're rewarded by working a bit harder to get a chance to a harry kane or a Lewandowski, but they're going to score most of their chances because their finishings are much higher that would be class in my opinion i'm not sure how i feel about this, this is all this is all just attack and vibes isn't it but i remember him telling me on the stream that he just likes throwing everyone forward i mean if that's the case then fair play mate i don't really have much to say there if that's the way you like to play fifa i haven't got anything to say mate you play the way you want i just think that you are going to concede a lot of goals but if you outscore your opponent fair enough this seems very interesting because it's actually quite pricey i feel like i'm looking at i think i think your fullbacks will be expensive i think Cancelo's is going to be over 100k because i think he's like the best option in the premier league and he's 86 rated um so i can see him being very expensive theo hernandez i think will also be very expensive but then the rest of the team's quite cheap i'd say jao felix would be quite expensive as well maybe jao felix would be like 30 40k um but uh, venetius might be 20 30 40k but then the rest of the team is like pretty cheap so i'm just thinking like i wonder if you can sacrifice your fullbacks that I would say are not the most important uh, position in the world to have high rateds of to maybe invest into the rest of the team. Obviously, we're, this is all hypothetical. We don't know how many coins everyone's going to have. So, you know, this guy that's put this team in might not have enough coins to even afford this team. We don't know. Uh, it's all hypothetical. But I would say maybe sacrifice um, the fullbacks for uh, a little bit better. You can go with that Wilson Manafa guy at right back and then, uh, you know, whoever at left back and then maybe invest coins elsewhere to get someone better than Danilo Pereira, for example. Uh, next one. These ads keep popping up. This is the worst starter team I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, okay. Like, this has to be a joke. Bamford and Sanchez up top. Why? Gagliardini, Bastoni. Like, what is this team? This is so bad. Harry, like, what? I mean, hey, you do you, bro. But that is a, an awful team. Um, next up, we have got ourselves another quite expensive one uh he said in babu at right back i remember him telling me when he, when he sent me the link in and babu at right back here uh again it'd be quite expensive but it will be a very very nice team again a lot of people use mateus cunha a lot of people want to use joao felix bellingham's quite popular a kanji looks like a great starter cb uh and then this i think this trio on the left here will be used quite a lot um next up another fairly expensive one i would say i think rafinha might be quite expensive it looks like a great sort of right-sided winger uh royce with a massive pace downgrade it doesn't look right i just it doesn't sit well with me it's a bit so looks absolutely quality costage looks really really good as like a uh a left mid i think he'd be great uh shorts looks decent berkey looks decent despite the massive downgrade it's, again a well-rounded team um next up we have got uh another sort of bundes a lot of people saying they're gonna build in the bundesliga sign it looks great as a right winger coman looks absolutely sick as a sort of left winger as well uh three star week for less and down a little bit though. i think his finishing stats are quite low as well uh but yeah another another really well-rounded team and then the last one for the video is going to be this one which is actually on footwids um which again looks like a, a more expensive team i'm surprised ruben dish ruben dish has got such a 
pace downgrade kind of like it's just interesting to me in comparison to other players um but yeah this team also looks really really nice but uh you can see sort of a direct correlation with teams um i thought we'd go through and uh, have a look at some though and if you want to see me rate some more starter teams when the full game comes out make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you guys know i did let me know in the comments down below if you want to see it thank you for watching and i'll see you lads later